All right. Uh, next Friday is the UI el- eligibility check. Is anybody in sports or dance or cheer or pep or color guard or anything with competition? Because if you're in anything that's UIL, you want to be passing by next Friday for sure, for sure. Okay. All right. So let's do this warm-up. It's kind of based on yesterday's stuff. Uh, we have a graph, 800 times 0. 0.2 to the power of x. So I'll pull up my calculator and go to a new document. Uh, don't save. How do I graph this? What do I press? Number 2. And then I'm going to type it in. So 800, parentheses, oh, no, 0. 0.2. And then caret x, right? So I hit enter. Is that growth or decay? That's decay, right? So at least I can see that already. Now, it wants to know my starting point and my rates, uh, but I'm going to start with getting this table, actually. So how do I get a table from this graph? What do I press? Control T is correct. Now, notice the table that I have starts with zero. Look at the calculator. Do you see how it does not start with zero? I need to go up one from here. No, 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 no. Okay. All right, so now I can fill in this table. So for zero, I get 800. For one, I get 160. Two is 32. Three is 6.4. Okay. So... Now that we have we have a graph on the calculator, we have a table over here, so we can answer these questions. And the first question is, what is the starting point? Now, when we're answering this question, what is the starting point? The starting point is when x is 0. So look at your table. At x is 0, what's y? Oh, 800, right? It's okay. Now, do y'all remember yesterday on the notes, or you have a copy of the notes, y equals a times b to the x power, okay? So that's the form of an exponential function, and a, we said, is the starting point, and b is the rate. So even just looking at that equation, do you see how the first number is 800? That's going to be your starting point, okay? So let's go ahead and write that down. The starting point is 800 because it's the first number in the equation. It's also when x equals 0. Okay? Now the rate. The rate is how much it's changing, but it's also that second number in the parentheses. What's that second number in the parentheses? Z- 0.2, right? Does everyone see that in the parentheses? So that second number is the rate of growth or decay. Now in this case, we know it's decay. So go ahead and put 0.2 for your rate, okay? Now, real quick, there's another way to find out what the rate is. On your table, if you do bottom divided by top, 160 divided by 800, you get 0.2, okay? So you can also, on the table, do bottom divided by top, bottom divided by top. That will give you the common ratio, ratio, and that ratio is the rate. Now, we already have a table. Now, this word, we learned this yesterday. If you weren't here, this is a new word. Asymptote, okay? No P, or P is silent. The the asymptote is uh, the line that you cannot cross. So, if I look at that calculator again, do you see how it's coming down? It's, It's decaying, and it does not cross this horizontal axis, the X axis. Okay. Now, just like in yesterday's notes, that line on the horizontal axis is always going to be y equals 0, again, on the axis. Okay. You all with me? If you're on the phone, you put that away. Put that away. Focus up here. So, again, the asymptote, when it has not been shifted up or down, is x, sorry, y equals 0. Okay. That's the horizontal line. Now, we also yesterday talked about domain and range, okay? Now, domain are the x values that are horizontal from left to right, and the range are the y values from bottom to top, 
Okay. Okay. So, uh, take a look at that graph again. Domain. It goes forever to the left. Up and up and up and up and up. It goes forever to the right, closer and closer and closer to the axis. Okay? So if it goes forever to the left, and if it goes forever to the right, we're going to use infinities for our domain. You're going to do this today, so check it out. When you're doing domain of an exponential, you go negative infinity less than x less than positive infinity. Okay? So again, if it goes forever, you want to use infinities, negative and positive, okay? If you're taking a test, make sure you have the phone put away. No phone. Like, away, all the way away. Like, throw it away. All right. Now, range, let's go back to the graph. How far down does this thing go? Do you see how it's going down, 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 but it never crosses zero, right? So you can't put infinity because it never goes past zero. So our bottom of our range is going to be zero, and it goes up forever to infinity. So here's how we write that. Zero less than y less than infinity. Now, we don't underline this less than sign between zero and y because it does not touch it. Okay? If it did touch it, if it was on that point, we would have to underline the inequality. Okay? Okay, but that's good for that one, okay? On your assignment today, you're going to be given an equation that I'm going to ask you to get a table, plot the points and graph it, and then answer all these questions, okay? So if you could do that, you could do it again on the assignment, right? Now, there's a lot for this warm-up because I want to make sure you know how to do the backside. Now, the backside starts with not an equation, but it starts with a graph. Can you go from a graph to a table, and then get all this information, okay? Now, I know you can, you all know in a graph, you can plot these points, you can put them on a table, like just where, where, wherever X is, wherever Y is, write them in, okay? I think you can do the table part on your own, but on number two, on the warm-up, what if you already have your table, how do I get the function? So let me remind you, uh, Y equals A times B to the X, a is the starting point. Everyone, look at that table on the right. What is the starting point when x is 0? What is the starting point? Uh, on the second table. 20, right? So on that second table, I start when x is 0 at 20. So go ahead and put starting amount is 20. So that means my A is 20. Because that's where I start when x is 0. Now, this part can be kind of challenging. What's my rate? Now, I said this earlier, but I'll say it again. If you need to figure out the rate, you're going to take your table and do bottom divided by top. Bottom divided by top. Bottom divided by top. So check it out. 10 divided by 20 is my rate. I'm frozen. Okay. 5 divided by 10. 2.5 divided by 5. And let's do some math. What is 10 divided by 20? What does that reduce to? One half. What's 5 over 10? One half. And then 2.5 over 5 is also one half. So you tell me, what's my rate? One half. Right? Not one and a half, but just one half. So for rate, we'll put one half. Now, if you want to put 0 0.5, that's great too. Okay? But do you see now we have B? We have our B value is one half. Our A value is our starting amount at 20. So could you write an equation now that you have A and B? A times B to the power of X, right? So let's write that function. Y equals A, which is 20, times B, which is one half, power of x, okay? I cannot zoom in for some reason.
Oh, huh. all right. Well, for some reason I can't move this, but that's okay. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. First of all, I want you to look at your warm-ups. Make sure your name is on it. Make sure it's good. Every day should have a warm-up. Monday should have put uh, no school. Wednesday you should have put no warm-up. And then the other days you should have a warm-up, okay? So, again, make sure your name's on it. Make sure everything's filled in. Uh, if you're not putting your objectives, you're losing points. So make sure you do that every day. Only in the days we do war actual war. So you can go ahead and make sure your name's on it. Pass it to the front, not sideways. Don't get up. Just pass it to the front, and I'll pick it up near the front, okay? And then I'm going to pass out this assignment, and y'all are going to work on this. And some of us need to do test corrections. Correct. No warm-up point safe. And y'all got your grade sheet yesterday. Uh, you can see what your test grade was, or check Skyward to t see what your test grade was. But I'm going to let you know if you need to do corrections right here right now, okay?